Hello! If you're like me, you've had time off. I had spring break off, I'm a teacher, and so we went online and they were kind of figuring out everything we were going to be doing. I noticed in myself, I started to become a part of the couch. So the couch and I were becoming one. It wasn't a good thing, it wasn't good for my happiness. You have to indulge a little bit, relax a little bit too much, and then be like, okay, now I'm ready to like be a contributing member of society now, you know? So if you're here, you're either bored or needing inspiration, so let me inspire you. Do you say hello to the camera? Such a cute cat. Number one, reading. I'm a teacher, I have to say it, okay? I have no choice. I chose to read Stephen King's book, The Stand, which I think was a poor choice in the end. Let's read the plot here. The plot centers on a pandemic of a weaponized strand of influenza that kills almost the entire world population. Reading in general, I feel like makes me just ponder the world a little bit more. Vice versa, less concerned about the superficial things. And number two, do you have outdated pictures on display? Or perhaps no pictures on display at all? Updating your display pictures is a good way to update your living space. I already had some picture frames and I ordered pictures online that were delivered to the house. I had to do my pictures in black and white because I had red berries in my hair. It was December 21st, right before Christmas. And I didn't want my house to look like Christmassy throughout the year. Red is just such a bold color. I think another good piece of advice is that if you have different photographers or some pictures that you've done yourself and you're mixing them up, if you make them all black and white, it kind of ties them all together. It also does take a while to like pick out which pictures you want where, what sizes, and those sorts of things, but it ended up being a pretty good end result, I would say. Number three, write out your long-term goals. So I did one-year goals, five-year goals, and 10-year goals. I felt like it gave the current situation perspective, and it also gave me incentive to start working towards some of those goals right now while I have time. Here's another idea I saw. You could write a letter to your future self, your 2021 you, or 2030 you, or 2050 you. But it would be cool if you like set goals, and then like 10 years from now, you open up the envelope, and you've like met those goals. Number four, work a resume booster. I'm actually taking online classes right now. That has obviously filled up some of my time, but if there's any additional certification that you can get in your career or any sort of like online training that you can do, now is a great time to get started on that. Number five, if you've considered switching careers but haven't like gained the confidence or like gotten the clarity you needed to do that, now's a good time to spend a lot of time researching. You can watch YouTube videos like Day in the Life of a Nurse. And Harvard actually offers some online classes in a lot of different areas and the classes are free you get the benefit of like starting the coursework without having to pay for it. At the end of the course, you can actually get a certification and add that to your resume. Number six, I end up binge watching TV shows all day long. I feel... Jonathan and I have watched a TV series in the evenings. I can spend my day being productive, but then I get to look forward to like, tonight I can just sit, cuddle up and relax and like watch a TV show. I love the BBC series Pride and Prejudice, although it's probably not everyone's cup of tea. I asked my mom for ideas of what to do during this time, and here's what she gave me. <coughs> organize recipes. So I don't have a single paper recipe, but if you do, go ahead and organize those. Clean out closet, clean ceiling fans, use pillowcase. Use a pillowcase and you like swipe the fan and then there's not dust everywhere, so there's that. Clean air vents, clean baseboards, clean out filing cabinet, clean out desk, organize photos, clean out pantry, and clean out freezer. She also slid in to make babies. If that isn't the most mom list, I don't know what is. But number seven I'm just going to call clean and organize organize everything. It'll take you a long time. If you're a minimalist, you can skip number seven. If you're ever feeling overwhelmed, you can make a list of everything that you're thankful for. And I don't know a lot about you, but at minimum, you're breathing and you have internet connection because you're watching this. So those are two really great things to be grateful for. Number nine, yard work. Luckily we got these plants before it went crazy. We planted 18 shrubs, fun. So yard work if you have a yard. Otherwise, maybe just make one of those cute like succulent villages. I think that would be very fun to have like in an apartment or a dorm. And it's kind of like you can take care of your yard and it takes less work and it's more fun. So I think that would be good. Number 10, find a way to give back. These are a bunch of donated seeds, thousands of them. Jonathan and I are working with a local nonprofit who is going to plant a community garden, and so we spent a day organizing seeds. Seeds upon seeds upon seeds upon seeds. Radish seeds. There's all kinds of stuff. I don't know what they mean. Number 11, I feel like I've seen this everywhere, so this is an original, but here it is in this list anyways because it's important. FaceTime and catch up with friends and family that you haven't caught up with in a while. 
much. Number 11. Another good way to communicate is through snail mail. It adds a little extra excitement in there because you can put in pictures or like a leaf or a lock of hair if you felt so inclined. It feels like whatever you're writing is pretty important. Grandparents eat that up. They'll probably read it four times and put it on their refrigerator, you know? So why not just, just give it to them? And these are things that are not necessarily productive, but I did do in this time, so play with your pet until they no longer want to play with you. No. What are you doing that for? <gasps> Download TikTok if you want something mindless for a second. I also would argue that it's culturally beneficial for me to understand Gen Z a little bit more. You know, I'm a teacher. I feel like it's given me a great insight in their humor. I feel like you have to at least download it once to understand what it is. Next is Fortnite, so Jonathan keeps up with his friends and their strategy and such, and it's pretty entertaining, actually. Come on, I'm good. Get out of here. <laughs> You knew there wouldn't be a list without this. Go through all of your clothes and get rid of things. You can sell mine or put into your garage until the thrift stores open up again. I'm sure there will be a great influx of clothing donated to the thrift stores once they open up again. If you're a thrifter, then is your time to shine, whatever then happens. Number 14. While you're going through your clothes, you may be thinking or realizing that you are missing some things, and so then you can go online. I only buy tennis shoes pretty much from thrift stores or like TJ Maxx. For the first time, I ordered shoes off of they were actually only like $23. So Jonathan got new shoes too. It was really special. Oh, and it's also quite enjoyable to get the mail whenever it comes in. We got mail! We got mail! Most exciting part of the day. Let's see what we got. Noxy, do you know what I got? Woo! These have very high reviews off Amazon. You know I'm gonna be needing leggings if I'm staying inside for the continued amount of time. And we got jean shorts. Oh, it's a grill cover. Wow, look at there. Wow, you rocked that. Oh, thank you. I like them, they fit. At 15, after going through my clothes, I preemptively put away all my winter clothes. It's still gonna be cold for a little while, but I was just like, I'm not even gonna be going out. When do I need like a nice sweater? I'm not going to need a nice sweater. I'm not going to wear a nice sweater here. I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt. So, number 16, try new recipes, like really like go out there, try something wild, crazy. Now is your time to create the next best tasting thing. We also baked bread, which was quite wholesome. There's something neat about kneading the bread, cover it with a towel, the yeast makes it rise. Once it's done cooking, you have some freshly baked bread. For how many years have people been baking bread and you're doing just the same thing? It's just a mindless, satisfying process. Here we go. That was good. All right, number 17 is taxes. Have you done your taxes? They extended the date, July 15. Would a quarantine be a good time to do the taxes? Absolutely. Number 18, find a minimally populated area and walk your dog or cat. I used to take him on walks all the time and he'd love it, but I think we haven't gone in a while and it's really messed up, messed him up. He's like, wait, what are we doing out here? He also doesn't walk for a very long time. He's lazy. I'm like, you can do laps like you run the Olympics in the middle of the night, but now that we're at the park, walk at a very slow pace. It doesn't make sense. 19, working out. I mean, it's healthy, it's good for you. I hate doing it myself. I still am unhappy while I do it, but I will say after I did feel a little bit better, and so maybe it's worth it. Maybe 20 years from now, you'll be thanking your younger self for doing that workout, so. 20. Paint a self-portrait, or paint your pet, or paint your significant other. It was my first time with oils. I didn't realize it takes 12 days, yes, 12 days, to dry, and so I'm going to have to wait 12 days to do my next layer. If I had known, I wouldn't have done layers. I would have sectioned everything off properly. Number 21, self-care. Draw yourself up a nice bubble bath, make a face mask, pour yourself a glass of wine, or some hot tea, whatever floats your boat, and play some calming music. Maybe light some candles. It'll be a nice experience. Experience. 22, learn something new. Something I am bad at that I would like to improve on is dancing. Today I'm going to show you a classic line dance called Footloose. I decided, you know what, I'm going to learn. To say I learned it would be an overstatement. I sort of got the general movements of it, and logistically I know what happens, but my feet just don't move quite so quickly. But there are so many things. Anything that you want to learn or something that you want to become better at, there are so many resources on the internet, so give it a try. Number 23, go on a stay-at-home date. So we had a picnic. It would be nice to do other things. Play a new movie that would have been out of the theaters, and instead they're releasing it some other way. 
away and you get your popcorn and you dress up like you're going to your movies. Maybe you get candy. That would be fun. Number 24, stargaze. And get that app that like shows you where the different stars are. Become a mini astronomer. How many people do you think are actually astronomers that actually study the stars? That's such a cool job. And the last one, number 25, is invest in something you love, a hobby or an interest. Jonathan has been all hyped up about smoking things. What are you doing today? Smoking a butt. But maybe for you, it's playing an instrument, or crafting, or building things, or photography, or scrapbooking, or gaming, or even making a YouTube video. Whatever you do, just have fun, stay safe.